Hey guys, hope you're staying safe out there. Today I wanted to talk about applying for unemployment, specifically for freelancers. Before, unemployment was only available to W-2 employees, people who had a boss or worked for a different company full-time, and it wasn't really available to us freelancers before, but now it is because of this whole situation. HR 748 has passed, and it now extends the coverage to a lot more people. So in this video, I'm going to cover who's eligible and also calculate specifically how much benefit can you get, how much maximum benefit you can get from this unemployment, and it's called Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. And don't forget to check out my next video where I'll go over the actual steps of how to apply specifically in New York State. So with that, let's get into it. Here is the official HR 748 CARES Act, and this is the actual bill that uh, was put into place or enacted. And so what I'm going to do here is go to unemployment and look at the un unemployment benefits. Specifically what applies to us is the pandemic unemployment assistance. So previously unemployment insurance was only really available to employees, somebody who worked for a company and they received a W-2 tax form for their employee wages. So for people like me who is a sole proprietor, who's a, who's a freelancer, unless I paid specifically into unemployment insurance, I get no benefit. But with the whole situation currently going on, Government has decided, okay, there's going to be a lot of people unemployed and we need to help them out. So one of the things they did was pass the $1,200 stimulus check for people who make under a certain amount. And that's great and all, but that $1,200 is not going to last long, considering how long this whole situation might last. But luckily, they did consider this unemployment insurance to help a lot more people out. And it now covers freelancers like me. So you, you can see in here under the pandemic unemployment assistance, um, that's what it's called. It says here, the term covered individual means an individual who is not eligible for regular compensation or extended benefits, blah, blah, blah. Um, basically, is somebody who wasn't eligible for unemployment insurance before or is self-employed, seeking part-time employment, does not have sufficient work history or otherwise would not qualify for regular employment or extended benefits under state or federal law or pandemic emergency employment compensation under section blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of a catch-all for a lot of people, right? Not just freelancers or employees who have been laid off or furloughed, people who've been laid off entirely or have zero work coming in or even part-time. This is also eligible for people who have reduced hours where they only make a certain amount of money. So we'll get into specifically how much you get under this coverage. It can be a little confusing, but um, I kind of broke it down to how somebody in New York can apply for this. I was able to figure out how much benefit you actually get. So there's three different components to this unemployment insurance uh, thing. So, <laughs> but I just thought this was funny. It says here, limitation of duration of assistance. This is quite a confusing paragraph specifically the ending i'll try to break this down into parts to make it a little bit easier to understand the total number of weeks for which a covered individual may receive assistance under this section shall not exceed 39 weeks and then it says except except that if after the date of enactment of this act the duration of extended benefits is extended Congress, they can go back and reconvene and, and say, we want to extend this unemployment benefit beyond the 39 weeks. We don't know how long this is going to last where people can't really go out to work. So they're just saying that they can um, extend it later on down the road after they reassess. The 39-week period described in this, <laughs> this is the funny part. The 39-week period described in this paragraph shall be extended by the number of weeks that is equal to the number of weeks by which the extended benefits were extended. I mean, <laughs> it just seems like they were uh, late at night trying to get this passed and they just <laughs> were writing, they were probably zombies when they were writing this. I don't know, it's just funny. By the number of weeks that is equal to the number of weeks by which the extended benefits were extended. <laughs> Um, anyway, basically, uh, this uh, if you're self-employed, if you're a freelancer, uh, this applies to you now. You can get unemployment benefits, and we'll calculate how much you can get. This unemployment benefit is, uh, you have to apply through your state. So I live in New York, and I apply through New York unemployment benefits. I feel bad for you guys in Florida. I read an article. Apparently, your unemployment um, system was made to basically be such a pain 
that you weren't going to get it. That sucks, but just do the best you can. We're all in this together. So, um, But like I said, this is all through your state. It is a federally backed uh, unemployment insurance assistance, but it is applied through your state. So what I'm going to do is go to Google. I'm just going to write New York uh, PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. So if you're in a different state, just type in your state and PUA. And here, make sure it says ny.gov. Make sure it's an official site. And it takes you here. So you see this flow chart here. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. And let's zoom in. So here's the flow chart of who's eligible. Basically, a lot more people are eligible for this. So this one, if you've already been receiving unemployment insurance before this whole thing happened, you do nothing. You just continue to get paid weekly as you certify. Eligible for regular unemployment insurance benefits. So these are usually the W-2 employees, um, not freelancers unless you paid in. And now also not traditionally eligible uh, for UI benefits. So that's people like me, freelancers, sole proprietors, self-employed. So we both apply by going here. You go to that site and we'll go to that in a second. Um, so here it says if you're eligible, then you will receive PUA benefits for 39 weeks plus an additional 600 per week available until 731. Uh, if you're not eligible, you apply for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, uh, PUA, and then you become eligible and then you get the same benefit. Um, but here, this is if you've already been collecting unemployment insurance, you applied sometime after this date of last year and you've used it all, then you're still eligible to apply for this PUA and you'll get 13 weeks of additional benefits and additional $600 per week until July 31st. This blue line is what applies to this blue line down here, not this orange line. The orange line all flows down to these. So that's a little confusing. Wait, what is this 13 weeks, 39 weeks, $600? That's a little confusing, so we'll get into that. Normally, before this whole situation occurred, in New York State, you would get $504 per week for 26 weeks. Your state might differ. Uh, most states have 26 weeks benefit of different amounts, um, but New York is 504. And so what this is saying is you can now get your state benefits up to 39 weeks. So it extends from 26 weeks to 39 weeks. So for New York, it was $504 for 26 weeks. Now what this first part is saying is you get $504 for 39 weeks, not 26 weeks, plus an additional 600 per week until July 31st. So let's calculate that. Let's calculate the maximum amount of benefit you would get in New York State for this unemployment. So originally, um, you get $504 times 26 weeks. That's normally how much unemployment you would have received for the 26 weeks. But now you get 504 times 39. So now you'll get 19,656 for the 39 week benefit. Then you'll also get $600 per week available until July 31st. And I calculated, it said benefits will start paying this week, April 5th. And so I looked at the calendar, April 5th to July 31st, that's 17 weeks of benefit for this $600. So that's 600 times 17 weeks, and that's $10,200. So this is how much you'll get here if you add these two, 19,656 plus 10,200. This is how much maximum you can get under this box right here, 29,856. I think it says if you apply and you can't get through, you know, the websites are all jammed. The phone lines are all jammed. Um, there's so many people applying for this. Uh, but it does say that you will be back paid from your eligibility date. So it looks like it just might take a little bit um, to get through and get your application approved and whatnot. But it will backdate you. So um, there is some comfort in that. But it looks like uh, for 39 weeks, you will get 29,856 maximum for the state of New York. So let's take a look at this green situation. Uh, if you've already been receiving unemployment benefits before this whole situation went down, you don't do anything. You'll just continue to get uh, your payment as you certify every week. Um, and I'll go over how to use certify and it's pretty simple. But you will automatically receive 
your bump in benefits. So you'll get your 504 for the total 39 week period, plus an additional $600 uh, dollars for 17 weeks from April 5th to July 31st. So then let's look at this situation right here. If after July 1st of uh, last year, 2019, uh, you already applied for unemployment assistance and you got your unemployment for 26 weeks and you used up all your benefits, then you kind of already used up that benefit, but you will get the difference. So you'll see here, uh, if you've already exhausted your benefits, then you apply, you get eligible for 13 additional weeks of benefits, and that's the state benefit. So you'll get 13 times 504 for the state. And then for this, for the additional 600 per week from April 5th to July 31st, that's 17 weeks, you'll get 600 times 17. So here you'll get a maximum of 10, 200 plus 6552. So that is if you've already exhausted your unemployment benefits previously, then you can get the difference, which is 16,752. If you haven't applied for unemployment insurance before, you will get 29,856, which is a good amount of money for uh, a lot of people, much more than the measly $1,200 stimulus check. Hopefully this will help a lot of people. So if you're not from New York, the way you calculate it for your state is look up your state, how much unemployment benefit you get per week. Um, New York is 504. And then multiply that by 39 times 39. And then that's your state unemployment that you'll get. And then uh, the federal, you'll get 600 times 17. So add 10,200 plus your state for 39 weeks. All right, guys, hope that clears up some information for you. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll go over the steps of the actual application on how to apply for unemployment in New York State specifically. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below, click subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Till next time, see ya.